Good day. Hello. Thank you all. How are you? I'm great. How about you? I'm wonderful. I have been thinking a lot about how to open today's show. I kind of prefaced this yesterday to you. And I thought I was thinking about this um, this post that I had written um, a few days ago on, on the internet. And I think it's it's interesting. Um, the post is it's interesting because I think a lot of people are trying to be motivational in the content that they create. They try to uh, entice someone by saying something, you know, like uh, I don't, not not like spammy or anything or clickbait or anything like that. But like they try to be like others, like oh, this person's motivating me, so therefore I need to motivate them. Mm-hmm. And I and I don't I think I was running when I thought of this, but it basically the the line is. Uh, don't be motivational. Introduce people to cool stuff. If it leads them to trying it out, rat. But don't intentionally try to be right. motivational. Right. Right. Just, just like with you, like you were uh, running for a long time. I saw that. I didn't want to run, and then at some point it clicked, and I was like, oh, I should try that thing too. I've seen yeah. it with myself with some of the Ironman races that I've done, um, and, and and stuff like that. But even from a business perspective, it's like don't you don't have to be so quote unquote motivational. Just introduce stuff to people like, hey, like I'm trying this thing. I thought it was cool. You might want to see it. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting that you say that because uh, it just seems like everywhere you turn now, everybody, even more so, everyone is is starting a podcast. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing to me that as long as it's been around, we're still very much at its infancy. Don't you think podcasts uh, are just like blogs in the past where people are like, oh, I need to do this, or I need to create the social channel. It's just another one of those things. Yeah. And they're not going to put in the effort into it that needs to succeed. So then they'll find the next big thing. Yeah. And, and so based on what you were saying, it's, um, the, the, the thing that rings true is like, so I was just talking, uh, if, if all things, it's really funny. My wife has just started a podcast uh, about human geography. And, you know, so like, how do I, uh, because these are like 10 pound, 10 pound brain people that she's talking to. And it's like, how do you, oh, she's the host. Yeah. She's the host. Um, so, she, it's, it's it, that takes me to the whole Jason Calacanis thing that we were talking when he was talking to us about reps, you know, and she, it's like, you know, how do I, how do I pull information out of these people that are super, super smart? And it's just like, Hey, you know, I mean, you're like, you're three shows into this. You've only taken three reps. And she's like, gosh, you know, but you know, you and Zach, you, you, you play off of one another, the, the chemistry that you have with one another, it, it, it's, you know, that's, it's great. And it's just like, yeah, but, this is show 102. So we've taken 101 reps up until this point. And, you know, we still have a long way to go before we get to that and, next And one. to articulate that information that we've been discussing in a relationship for 10 years now. So yeah. we can feed off of that too. Right. Then the things that we historically talk about, we have at least 10 years of experience doing so it's not just 101, 102 reps in that case. It's it's a long time of reps in that yeah. stuff. Well, and I don't and know where she is on her her rep scheme of 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 um, human geography. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, just in the sense of you know. So I, I go back to um, something that I heard Joe Rogan say many years ago, and he was like, "Hey, this is a conversation that I would have with this person." either in person or while we're doing this podcast. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. If, as, as long as we're having the, a conversation, you know, if an audience is there, it's great. If it's not, I would have still had the same conversation anyway. So you know, with that piece of admi- uh, advice that has always stayed in my mind, it's been really, really beneficial to me. And I think to those that are looking to start a podcast or are really new into the podcast thing, because if you try to be all things to all people or try to talk about what your audience wants to hear, I think that you're going to fall flat. Yeah, I I like to think one of the things that I used to use as a way to uh, ask people uh, to be on the show, it's like, hey, you wanted to get together anyway for coffee, whether I know you you live in my area or not, you know, virtual coffee, whatever. I'm going to ask you the same questions that I do here that I would Mm -hmm. there at a bar 
you know, at a, at a, at a cafe, whatever it might be, right. I'm going to ask you the exact same questions. And I think not changing on that is, is important Before we yeah. dive in today's guest. Uh, Harry Rodriguez says, when you open a business, what should be my main concern? Um, I think a couple of things, make sure you have a ton of capital available and ready. Make sure you're, you're going to use that money for the actual marketing of the business too, not just the product of the business. And then three, make sure that before you go all in, like you have a couple customers that are pretty ready uh, to, to pull the trigger. And what I mean yeah. by that is don't ask people, hey, um, when I open this, will you buy from me? A lot of them will say yes, because it's really easy for them to say yes. To get that wallet out, and that credit card out, that's the difficult thing. If yeah. they're not willing to buy, it's going to be very difficult. And, and so those would be my kind of three main main pieces of that. Yeah. Way. No, I think the same. Yeah. I mean, you certainly have to understand what the problem is that you're solving. Uh, you can't have a solution that's looking for a problem. So you certainly have to understand what problem that you're solving. But uh, I'm listening to a book right now that uh, was really, really interesting because uh, it, it totally flips the script. And it, it, so it's called Working Backwards. It's uh, written by the guys that uh, were with Jeff Bezos back in the early days of Amazon. So when it comes to to doing something like this, starting a business or coming out with a new product or whatever the case is, they they start with the press release. And hmm. uh, so they write the press release before they even start on the product or the, or whatever it is that they're getting ready to release. So that way you already have the customers, the customer in mind. And it's You already know the features, the functionality, the price, what hmm. capabilities are. And so you, if you start with the press release, then you can work backwards. You know, and then if you're work, then when you talk to your development team and everyone else that's involved marketing sales, then uh, you already have all that stuff identified. It's a pretty interesting concept that uh, who wrote, who wrote that? Uh, Bill Carr was one of the authors. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it was, it was a recommendation on uh, Jason's book club that I'm working backwards. On. It's inter- interesting. A lot of people from a content perspective, from an SEO perspective, think about that end play and then pull back off of that. Uh, Noah yeah. Kagan, um, someone who I followed for a while, he he um, he talks about that strategy too. Uh, not yeah. necessarily from building a product, more from a marketing perspective. But um, I always thought that was interesting. Are you stuck at your home office, socially distanced coffee shop, or your fancy all bricked out corner office wondering why no one can see your business and sales are all over the place? Sounds like you need a pro. That's why I developed the Anomaly Academy. Insert clever copy here. Oh, I guess I was supposed to put something else there. Oops. You can grab access to the Anomaly Academy now at ZachMillerSays.com slash Anomaly Academy. 